And today I'm going to detail the essential amino acid threonine, which is a building block for the body's production of fellow amino acids glycine and serine. We find threonine in foods like milk, eggs, and gelatin. And in the body, threonine is a component in collagen, elastin, and even tooth enamel. Threonine works with the amino acids aspartic acid and also methionine to enable the liver's digestion of fats and fatty acids. What's specifically known as the liver's lipotropic function, something that is particularly helpful for anyone dealing with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Threonine can also induce improvements in sleep quality and duration by directly stimulating the production of gamma aminobiteric acid, or GABA, the inhibitory neurotransmitter that effectively shuts down excessively active neurons, thus promoting relaxation, mental focus, and better sleep. And part of this is definitely threonine's instigation of glycine production, because threonine-derived glycine enters the central nervous system far more qualitatively than either dietary or supplemental glycine does. Threonine also promotes the growth and protein synthesis of skeletal muscle by activating insulin-like growth factor 1, which is already well known for initiating the growth of both muscle and bone tissue, and threonine's critical contribution to the endogenous production of both serine and glycine is a major force behind this. Glycine is well known for staving off the degradation of skeletal muscle and gradual loss of physical function. Glycine is also one nutrient that stimulates the pituitary gland to release our natural human growth hormone. Most human growth hormone secretion occurs at night, and this is just one reason why consistent sleep is so important, even if your busy schedule doesn't allow for that. And here is yet another critical area where threonine instigated glycine production is so important, because while glycine is already well known for supporting deep restorative sleep by enhancing melatonin production, glycine and the threonine derived serine are both essential for the proliferation of the muscle progenitor cells that ordinarily repair damaged muscle tissue and restore muscle homeostasis. These restorative muscle progenitor cells rely on external serine and glycine for population expansion because while these cells can synthesize glycine and serine on their own, it's far from adequate to support the demands of optimal skeletal muscle regeneration. The glycine and serine derived from threonine are also indispensable components in the production and utilization of creatine, as glycine is one-third of the amino acid trifecta, along with arginine and methionine, that builds creatine, while serine improves the absorption of creatine. As a supplement, you'll most likely find threonine bound to magnesium as a product known appropriately as magnesium L-threonate, which is famous for crossing the blood-brain barrier and consequently supporting brain functions, including better sleep and mood stability. And it should now be no surprise to you why and how magnesium L-threonate does this. Also, even though serine is a precursor for the endogenous production of tryptophan, you may still want to take some supplemental L-tryptophan every day, especially if you're someone who regularly consumes collagen, because while collagen, especially in the form of gelatin, is a decent food source of threonine, regular intake of collagen can easily put you at a deficiency for tryptophan. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzymental. Stay healthy.